Hey, Cyprian here. Welcome in this first tutorial to learn about how to make a simple 2D model in on-scale analyst mode. So I'll show you here how to do a simple grid of 20 by 20 and how to select a specific area uh, of this grid. So this is the very first basic kind of model that you need to learn if you want to know how to, how to work with on-scale geometry in the analyst mode. Of course, if you're working with designer, you won't have to bother with that because everything will be graphical. But this is for those who really want to learn the scripting part of the software. So without any, um, any dead time, let's start with a new script. So I, I advise you to open your own skill analysis mode and to start with me together in uh, try to do this simple exercise by yourself. You'll see that it will help you a lot to understand how this works. So first of all, I just opened a new model and now I'll just save it. Under the FLX INP format. So FLX INP is the on-scale input deck format. This is where all the in instruction for the solvers will be written. And, and this is what the solver uses to compute your model. Let's start with the first command to create the grid. So the command is grid. Pretty simple to remember, grid. And then you see that when you write this comment, you have this small instruction that tells you what you should write after that. So if I write, uh, for example, 20 and 20, this will make a 2D grid of uh, 20 nodes in I direction, 20 nodes in J direction. So 20, 20. Okay, I have my grid. Now I have no way to visualize this yet because I have first to associate some geometry dimension to my grid. And to do that, I use the geom command. And geom command works in several lines. So you have to uh, press enter, press tab, and then we'll use X chord comment to create, to associate certain dimensions to this grid. So you see here, it's written, I need an X begin and X end. So this is basically, this will be the size of my grid in terms of dimension. So let's say I'm working in, um, in meta unit. Um, so my grid will be zero and one like this. And in in y direction, same, 0 and 1. And in the third line, I'll put an end to close this comment. Now I have my grid, I have my um, geometry associated to my grid, and I cannot visualize it yet because I need to associate some material to the snows of the grid, and I need to draw and plot the grid to the screen. So how do I do that? Well, first to associate material, I used mat common, and the most simple way to create a material is mat um, prop. Then I need to put the name of the material, so I'll put steel. Um, and the most basic way to enter is to enter first density in kilogram by meter cube, the bulk uh, modulus, so let's say 200 uh, at power 9, and the shear modulus, like this. So now I have a steel material, which is called steel. Um, so how do I plot that now. So to plot this, I need the graph instruction. So make make sure that you don't input graph with an A. Um, every comment are limited to four characters, so that's why there is no A in the graph. So grph is graph. Graph, tab, um, and the most simple way is just to plot and give it the name of so if you want to plot the material, and mat plot material like that. So you see here plot material, and then you have all the types of instruction that I'll talk about later. 
end. And now I should be able to display that to the screen. So, and but I need to put a term at the end. So what the term instruction is doing is that it's basically um, posing the solver. So the solver will start to read all that and then it will pose as soon as it meets a term. So in order to display a model, and so it, it stays the screen, it doesn't disappear immediately and very quickly, you need to pose the solver right after you print your model. Let's try. So you have this option, preview model. And it seems to have a small problem, so let's have a look. So whenever you have some problem, this is written in the debug grid here. So now it's written, it tells me that Okay, it cannot find, okay, because this is not match, this is, oh, okay, yeah, I know, I know, I know what's wrong. I forgot to assign this material to my grid, yes, so what you need to do is, I have my grid, I have my geometry, I have my material, now I need to assign the material to this, so for that I use the site comment, site, and the side. The side command has several instructions as well in the region. Region command will basically, so you give it the steel material, and this will basically assign to the whole grid the material you define. So now, now my material is defined to my grid. Let's stop the preview and let's run again. And now I'm getting my uh, plot. Now you notice that I don't see the elements um, and I only see my material, so I only see a square, basically. It's not very interesting, so I want to see how many nodes I have, how many elements. And for that, I need to specify the graph type standard. Because there are two types of visualization uh, in OnScale, and now the standard uh, supports the grid and element plotting. The new one doesn't support that. So type standard and line on. Save, preview the model, and now I'm getting my grid 20 by 20. Now, um, let's have a look at how I can um, Let's say I want to highlight one small region of this model. I want to select only a uh, center model. So for that, I have to create a second material and associate it to this grid. So I could just copy paste that, or what I'll do is that I transform this material comment in a multi-line comment. So I'll just put it like this with an end. And I will use the copy instruction to copy my steel into a new property, which is called steel2. And this will be the same material. But because now I have two materials, steel and steel2, this steel2 will have a different color. That's the way you, 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 you can show up with colors, different areas of the model. And now I have to basically tell my model that I don't want only the, the, the whole model with this steel material, I want also um, steel 2 and I want steel 2 I want to select a specific region so I can directly give it the number of the nodes so let's say I want from node f so and you see I begin I end which means that the two first values that I will mention will be the nodes in the I direction from beginning to end and the second will be the J nodes so I want to 5 to 10 and 5 to 10. Save that and let's preview. And now I have this region highlighted. So you see that if I count the elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is the element 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the 10 ele the element uh, here is not included in the region you select. So when you say, I want to select the region from 5 to 10, it will actually select the element from 5 to 9, and the 10 will be the last element, will not be selected. So that's uh, important to, to understand as well. Okay, 
So that's all for the first video. Uh, in the second video, we'll see how to uh, change a bit the size of this grid and how to um, how to play on the size of the elements. Thank you for watching.